Anyway, after we get done snowboarding, I go back to the lodge and get in the jacuzzi. There's no one around, so naturally, I'm freeballing it. <laughs> Next thing I know, this beautiful chick shows up, drunk out of her skull, wants to get in with me. Question, it, was it a jacuzzi or a hot tub? <laughs> really, that's your question. <laughs> What's the difference? A jacuzzi is a commercial brand. Hot tub is the generic term, i.e. all jacuzzis are hot tubs, but not all hot tubs are jacuzzis. Is that like all thumbs or fingers, but not all fingers or thumbs? Surprisingly, yes. <laughs> nice. Now, what exactly are toes? Can you please get back to the drunk girl? I'd like something to think about in the shower. Oh, well, yeah, right. Anyway, she takes off all of her clothes, climbs into the hot tub, and the first thing I notice... The water level rose. <laughs> no. Of course it did. Yeah, it's said that Archimedes, the ancient Greek mathematician, discovered the principle of displacement while taking a bath. Terrific. Go ahead, Zach. Naked, drunk, girl, freeballing. Continue. But, 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 forgive me, but I think you'll find my story is more interesting. Does yours have wet breasts in it? <laughs> Better. It has a gold crown. You see, the king wondered how much gold was in it and charged Archimedes with coming up with the solution. Because the crown was irregularly shaped, there was no way to mathematically determine its volume. But while bathing, Archimedes realized he could immerse the crown and measure the amount the water rose. So long story short, I nailed her. When he finished, he shouted, Eureka! No, I always shout, holy moly. <laughs> Don't know why? Just do. <laughs>